Good Monday afternoon, everybody. Come on in. This is the day that the Lord has made, and I will, and I am rejoicing and being glad in it. I want to just say I hope that everybody that can hear this video feels half as good as I'm feeling today, physically, mentally, and spiritually. I tell you, the weather is beautiful, the sun is out, and I think it's on the way to being in the high 70s, almost into the 80s today. There's not a cloud in the sky, nor a uh, fog, no smog, even the pollen seems to have lifted just a little bit since that heavy rain the other night. So just welcome, come on in, glad to be here. It's Monday, I'm feeling great. Monday is usually a day that I take off, sit down, do absolutely nothing, but I feel so good I can't sit still and not do anything and give God the glory for such a beautiful, wonderful day and for each one of you. And a special, special thank you to some special people. <clears throat> Excuse me. For thinking of me, encouraging me, and gifting me. June Thompson, thank you so much for these beautiful knives. Well, I'm getting ready to use this. I'm getting ready to put this one to work to chop some veggies. I'm getting ready to make an ultimate quiche. I'll show y'all the entire set before the... Um, video is over. I just pulled it. I, this was just like, I didn't know I was going to do all this. I hadn't even taken the knives out of the box until I got ready to do this quiche. And I thought, I need these knives to chop these veggies. So this is just one of a beautiful set of knives that was gifted to me. Like I say, thank you, thank you, thank you, June. And for anybody else that ever given me anything, if I didn't get to uh, showing it on one of my videos, please charge it to my head and not to my heart because, you know, I've been not feeling well off and on. So I feel great today. I have energy. I'm empowered. I'm encouraged today. Mary Liz, thank you. You sent me that beautiful, wonderful Visa card. I will spend it wisely. Thank you so much, uh, which was a beautiful, wonderful birthday gift. And to any uh, other gifts, uh, Cheryl, for those beautiful head pieces that you sent me. I wear one to bed every single night. Keeps my hair together. I don't have to braid it up. So thank y'all for being so loving and so kind and encouraging to me. Uh, and I don't take it lightly anytime that you do anything to me, either by word or by deed. And certainly when you give gifts uh, to me. Thank y'all so very much. And anything that you've given to me, any way of encouragement, I ask God that he would send it back to you a thousandfold to you and to your family and that will uplift your spirit, your mind, and your heart. And thank y'all most of all for continuing to pray without ceasing. Y'all don't understand. For me, <clears throat> it means the world to know that you're out there praying because as you pray, I pray because I firmly believe that one can chase a thousand and two can chase ten. So we know that we got so many things coming at us on a daily basis, known and unknown. So we need to keep those prayers going up so the blessings will continue to come down and that we can continue to thank God and just to, to um, acknowledge him. To, because as we pray, we develop that relationship with him. That's how he hears us. And when we get into prayer and, and we get, you know, the word tells us that even if we cannot utter a prayer, he sends the Holy Spirit in to take that prayer to where it needs to be uh, heard right to God's ear. So it doesn't have to be a big boastful, uh, everybody in the world can hear. Just God looks upon your heart to see what's going on inside of that. So, uh, and, and your thoughts. So have clean, pure thoughts. As a man thinketh, so is he. So as you're thinking about things on a daily basis and wanting things to happen, God has blessed me and others on my behalf on thought. So I know for a fact that it has to enter into your mind and then it seeps down into your heart. And that's where God looks to see what we need and who we are. So, you know, uh, I always like to think when people are not doing what they're supposed to do and not treating people like they're supposed to treat them, that uh, God said he massages the king's heart on our behalf to cause that thing to happen to come to pass. So, again, thank y'all so much for my beautiful gifts, uh, June, and for Mary and Liz and for Cheryl. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And anybody else 
that sent me something or if you want to send me something feel free to do it i appreciate it um i love you all just that much that's why i continue to come on here and to try to do videos as often as i can because i know words count they mean a lot and i love to talk and i think uh somewhere along the line god gives me things to say that make a difference so i appreciate that and to god be all the glory for anything that i say that uplifts helps or encourage anyone so again uh we're going to continue to pray for those uh, individuals who got um in harm's way who were in harm's way as a result of the storms that's been running through different areas uh mississippi alabama tennessee all through that area and god knows texas always gets hit and we're just entering into tornado season so uh continue to pray and just uh pray specifically on that particular area uh and and, and know that when those disasters happen god makes no mistakes we just have to trust, believe, and know that he is in control. He's in control of this virus. He's in control of people who are still struggling with uh, not having enough to eat, a uh, decent place to live, a job that doesn't pay right, that minimum wage. It's coming, y'all. It's coming in due season. I know it's coming. I can feel it in my heart. It's coming in due season. All we have to do is hold out a little while longer, continue to stand and trust and know that God told us in his words, his children, his children would not perish. His children, he would not leave even until the end of time. So we have to stand on that and know that God is able. And for anybody that's going through any family issues or anything like that, we talk a lot about uh, reconciling those uh, differences among us. We all have them. Even if the individual won't let you uh, reconcile them directly to them, go ahead and reconcile with the Lord. Ask for forgiveness. Forgive that person in your heart. Do your part. And sometimes, sometimes, through the Spirit, that individual will come back to you and then all is well. And then there are other times where we might not even live to see those, re those differences reconciled in the flesh, in the natural. But in the Spirit, those things can be uh, taken care of because that's where God meets us anyway. So let me get uh, off that now because I feel myself fixing to get into uh, something else that I won't even be able to finish doing uh, this meal that I'm getting ready to prepare here. So again, thank you to everybody for your love, your well wishes, and your gifts. Uh, oh, one thing I want to share. Uh, I, I think I did say to you all that I had taken my first... Uh, uh, vaccination for the virus. I had it last mm, Thursday, I believe. Um, <clears throat> I had the Pfizer. So I'll do my next one on the 20th of April. And I was listening to the radio or to some kind of news broadcast last week. And an individual was talking about uh, she had been suffering from having after effects of the corona. She had had the coronavirus. And she and they they have a phrase or a term for I think it's prolonged something a prolonged I'll call it prolonged symptoms after the coronavirus uh, after you had had the virus so and I've been going through that myself uh, and gra you know gradually it was like a, every day you know I felt a little bit better and then some days I, I was going back and forth sort of vacillating with how I was feeling but nonetheless I was having those prolonged symptoms of the coronavirus and. Um, I didn't know, you know, it's, uh, there was some literature out there that told you that you could, you know, have some fatigue, some sluggishness, some, you know, lethargic, uh, your thought process, can't focus, all that kind of stuff. And I was going through all of that, some days worse than others, but it felt like it was getting a little bit better, but it kept going back. So anyway, last week when I was listening to that broadcast, this individual said that they had gotten their coronavirus shot and she had noticed that after the shot, uh, some days after, she began to feel much better. So now they're doing research to see uh, just how much relief people are getting from people who are suffering now from that prolonged after effect, just how much relief they're getting once they go ahead and get that vaccine. So be encouraged about the vaccine in that way. So, uh, and I thought when I got my shot, I said, you know, I'm sort of monitor because, you know, I'm nosy. I'm going to be watching for it. And sure enough, 
that's the way I, today, I've not felt like this in a long time. And I had that virus back in December, January, February, March. This is like three months ago when I had it. And for the last three months, I'm telling you, I do a lot of stuff still, but I have to push myself. Push, push, push. It had gotten so bad, I have to confess, it had gotten so bad at one point, I was thinking, oh, is my heart. And then I began to, to cast that vein. And I, I began to cast that down and say, Lord, no, I don't want to have that thought. So I did go to the doctor, and I am going to have an echocardiogram just to check things out since I have had open heart surgery in the last couple of years. So I'm still going to have that done because I'm, I'm going to be wise about that. But I can say, and I will attribute it to the fact that the medicine that the man made, that God made, that I took last week, I believe that I feel better as a result. So they are researching to see if that vaccination actually helps to give you some of your strength back after you've had that virus. So I can say for today, and I can only live one day at a time, and I can only trust that uh, the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. Now, he made the man, the medicine, and all that kind of stuff. So I believe that the shot is helping me. Now, this is Peggy talking. Okay, so I feel wonderful today. I'm energized. I'm encouraged. I'm just energetic. I, I talk, spoke to Tanya while I was good. She said, ooh, Mom, you sound, I said, uh-huh, because I didn't even let her finish. But anywho, y'all, I'm going to get a lot done today. So today, what I'm attempting to do, y'all see all my veggies laid out here. Y'all know I'm a veggie girl. So I decided, since I remember uh, what I cooked for Sunday dinner, I cooked uh, all this breakfast food for Sunday dinner. Well, I had a lot of sausage left over. I had that much sausage left over, about uh, five links and five patties down there. So I'm going to chop them up along with all these veggies, and guess what I'm going to make? We're going to have some ultimate quiche. That's what we're going to call it, ultimate quiche. So what I'm going to do first is go ahead and get my veggies chopped up. And I always like to chop my veggies that I put in most things. I like to chop them, saute them, and then add them. So what I'm going to do first is go ahead and use my beautiful, wonderful knife set here. One of my beautiful chopping knives. And go ahead and get these veggies chopped. Again, June, thank you for hearing my cry. Because I was, as I was saying, I, don't know if I, I shared it on Tanya's video. Um, I had been thinking about. Um, oh, I can't do it too hard. I forgot. This is a. This is my little Mackenzie Child uh, cutting board. I'm just gonna make, make a lot of noise, though, doesn't it? Mm. Whew. Yeah, makes lots of noise. Anyway, um. I was I dreamed because I was cutting something and the knife was so dull. I said, "Lord have mercy, I need some new knives." And I said it on a video, and, uh, and what do you know? Somebody sent me June, not somebody, but June sent me. I'm gonna have to do different because I'm so heavy headed. I'm scared. I, I'll I'll have this uh, chopping board cracked in half in a few minutes. I'm really scared about it. I think it's tempered though. So maybe it won't. I don't, I, I don't really want it diced. I want it in sort of big slices. So anywho, y'all. Oh, that knife cut so wonderful. I'm not I'm not able to do it right because uh whew, yeah. This cutting board is wonderful, y'all. It's cute to look at. But I'm scared I'm gonna I'm gonna hit it too hard and chop it up. Okay, so anyway, I'm going to cut all these veggies, and I'm going to get them ready to be go in the pan to be sautéed. I'm just going to sauté them in some uh, some butter and a little olive oil, and uh, get them ready for my quiche. So, hope y'all are praying something good today for your, your uh, lunch or for your dinner. Or maybe you got some leftovers. I didn't, the only leftovers I had from my Sunday dinner... And usually I cook enough on Sunday to have enough, but you know, grits and eggs, you don't want that leftover if you don't have to. Now, I could deal with them. Have you ever had fried leftover grits? That's good. So if you have any grits and you cook too many, 
honey. Mix them up with a little extra butter. You can even throw a little scrambled egg in there. And um, make them into patties. Mm, yeah, I, I can't, I, I'm not going to be able to use this. This will be the last time I use my little fancy cutting board with these knives. Because uh, I'm too heavy handed. I'm scared to try to do it fast because I know I'll have it torn up. Okay, these are some mushrooms. I'm just going to chop into them like so. Okay. Like that. Of course, y'all recognize this is some nice asparagus. I'm just going to cut these ends off of here. I like a little bit in, in the quiche and I'm going to saute the remainder of them. And with some um, onions, probably, and some. Oh, I've got some mixed, uh, some broccoli. Let me see how many of these I've got. Okay, I got some broccoli and uh, it's a California blend. I'm gonna mix the rest. I'm gonna do the rest of this uh, asparagus with. So yeah, I'm so excited to have these nice sharp knives. Oh Lord, yes, yes, yes. And I know good well I'm not supposed to be making this much noise chopping these veggies. I think this chopping board is just for, I think it's for looks, y'all think? Y'all reckon it's just for looks? <laughs> oh, help me, Lord. Okay, so the last thing I got to chop here, I've got some spring onions. And I had all these veggies in my uh, refrigerator, so after a week, whatever I have in there, I have to think of something to get them out. I bought too many. Because I forget, you know, sometimes. Nobody really eats veggies around here like that but me. So, anywho, I feel like Chatty Cathy, honey. Y'all don't even understand. It feels good to feel good. I'm going to go ahead and tell you. Now, it feels good to feel some. All these are going to just go in here together because they're going to get sautéed all together. And they're going to go into my quiche. I only have two deep dish uh high shells to use so they're going to be loaded that's why i said this is going to be loaded oh i've got the spinach back here too i'll be finished let me get these off to the side over here while i'm on over here i'll just go ahead and turn my skillet on for my um uh, for my saute i'm going to cut out for a minute because i've got to go ahead i've got uh two eggs in here and this is a 12 ounce can of uh, evaporated milk. This is gonna be my liquid for my um, quiche. And I think uh, this <clears throat> 12, and th those two eggs in there should pump it up to about 14 ounces, which is almost two. What I really want is two cups. Uh, I'm not sure if I have two cups quite two cups then i'm gonna grate my cheese up and we'll be back as soon as i get ready to put it together so y'all hang on and i'll be right back so i don't forget okay that's uh 12 ounces of milk two jumbo eggs a teaspoon of uh, complete seasoning a teaspoon of garlic powder a teaspoon of onion powder and a fourth of a cup of jalapeno peppers i fall in love with those jalapenos y'all all right so I'll be back. I just want to make sure I told you what the ingredients were that went into my liquid part of my quiche. Okay, y'all, it's time to get my uh, veggies going here in the pan. I kind of got my butter a little bit brown, but that's okay. It'll work. It will work. Okay, we're going to saute those veggies just so they just get a little bit wilted and tender so that I can get some seasoning going through them with that infused. Okay, I got some more butter I'm going to pour over there. And the rest of this is going to go right on into the quiche. Okay. Teaspoon of onion powder. Garlic powder. Complete seasoning. Okay. The big side. Okay. So two spoons each one of those. And I got some turmeric here somewhere. 
see where I find my two. I'm going to put two in there. Uh, what else am I going to put in there? So remember, keep the heat up high on this because you know you got mushrooms in here. And you know the mushrooms uh, bring water. So we don't want a lot of water in there. I'm going to put me a little bit of my sesame oil. About a half a teaspoon of sesame oil in there. And um, half a teaspoon of black pepper. These are nice healthy veggies. I mean, these are just seasonings that I'm putting on there. Throw a little bit of Miss Dash. You know, she has all kinds of, well, that's lemon pepper. I don't know if I want lemon pepper Miss Dash in there. Well, both of them are lemon, so we won't do Miss Dash today. I don't think I want lemon flavoring at all. I've still got to get my cheese chopped and also my meat. I've got to get back over to the cutting board. Got it all cleaned up again. Okay. And we're just going to let those saute in there until they get nice and wilty, just like I said. Keeping that heat up high so that the uh, veggies will not water. Get any kind of uh, juice in them because I don't want any juice in them. I just want... Okay. That's going to be yum, 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 yummy. So we're going to go back over here and get the um, my meat chopped just briefly. Let's do this. Okay. That is my meat. Okay. And I'm just going to slice these sausage like so. Not in big slices. Kind of thin. So I'm going to go slow so I can get it thin. I don't want big, thick, chunky pieces at all. I think I might even throw my uh, pan sausage into my ninja and let it chop it because that's what I'm going to do with the cheese so it doesn't um, yeah. wow it's going to be really loaded with meat really 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 loaded with meat okay I'm not ready to start putting this together yet so I'll be right back and I'll chop the rest of those in a few sec Okay, I'm back ready to put the quiche together. Okay, we're going to start. Okay, this is my cheese that I've grated up. Did nicely. Two cups of cheese. And this is probably about three cups of meat. So I'm going to start, I think, with my meat. It really doesn't matter, I don't think. If it matters, I don't know. So I'm just going to start. Like, like I said, so I'm going to do it like I feel it. Got my veggies over there. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle the bottom of this quiche. So that'll mean I'll have two layers of meat in here. Okay, these pie shells are deep. These are deep dish pie shells, by the way, y'all. Okay, so now I'm going to put some veggies. I'm going to try to put two, two, two layers of each thing, okay? How's that work? How's that sound? Okay. That way, we'll know we got some of everything in every level. And then when we pour our mixture in, okay. This is like three kinds of cheese. I got Monster. I've got um, New York White Sharp. So y'all know that New York White Sharp. Now that, that, that cheese has a kick to it, okay. So... That's why I'm going to divide it up. And then, let's see, the bottom cheese. So, I'll be able to do one, one, and one. So, I'm going to have three layers. Okay, so that's two. Well, let's go with a little bit of my monster. That's the monster cheese here. A little monster. A little monster cheese in there. Okay, like so. Make sure I have some for the top part of the. Okay, so now. I got one, two, three layers on. So now I can go in here and put, let's spread that cheese out. That's a lot of nothing in it. These big pieces in there, this is where the monster didn't get 
chopped up too fine, so but that's fine. So next layer, we started with meat. We're gonna do another meat layer. Oh, you know what I, I didn't do? I need to do a layer of my um, spinach. I got spinach, y'all. I got some spinach. Okay. Put me a layer of spinach in there. Now y'all know, y'all know for a fact that it's gonna be good, right? Okay. Just layer it real good right there with that spinach, and we're done with the spinach. And that this is another. I've got some Mexican four cheese cheese. So I think I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit of that. On top of there. I got butter, but I think I'm going to spread my butter on after everything else. Now I'm going to come in with this last layer. That's my second layer of the other veggies. Okay. So that gave the cheese, I'm sorry, the spinach the opportunity to be part of the veggies. The veggies. My veggies include... Uh, well, y'all saw me chopping them up. It was uh, onions, two kinds of onions, white onions, and the green spring onions. Um, red, uh, yellow, and, uh, and green peppers, not hot peppers. And then I mixed in some uh, the jalapeno peppers, the hot jalapenos, in with my mixture, of my milk mixture, milk and egg mixture. Now, I'm thinking I might need to have put more. Well, we'll see. If I have to mix up some more, I just have to mix up more. But I'm thinking I've got a one cup each to go in. Because you, you can't fill it all the way up to the very top. You have to leave enough space for your eggs and everything. to You know, everything's going to rise up a little bit. So, you have to leave room for it to rise. Okay. Oh, Lord, I still got more meat. So I, yeah, meat. This is almost like a meat lovers, you know. There is a turkey sausage in here, and I think the rest of this will go right on top of that. This thing here is loaded. I'll tell you, it's loaded. I almost was gonna put some little uh, grape tomatoes, but I think I'm gonna make a salad. Using those grape tomatoes to have that little, let that be a little coolness in there, a little nice cool something. Because salads, I mean, quiche is always good with a nice cool salad. Okay. And then I've got one more layer of cheese that I'm going to be putting on. And most of that cheese there is monster cheese. Okay. So this, like I said, this pie. Or whatever you want to call it, quiche pie, whatever, is loaded. Just like I said, this is a, this is an ultimate quiche. Okay, I think I got this one a little bit fuller than the other one. Now, what I can't wait to do is get me a nice slice of it with a hot cup of uh, elderberry tea. Whew, I can't hardly wait, y'all. I'm chomping at the bit. And put some more of this uh, mixed cheese here right on top of that. So it's not going to be lacking for anything, really. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. All right, all right, all right. Now, so that I don't pour too much in one and not enough in the other, I'm going to go ahead and then just start pouring. I'm going to pour my liquid mixture right on top. Just let it run down in, in there like so. Yeah, as long as you can see a little bit come up on the sides, you know you're doing okay. Yeah, that's good. 
once all that cheese bubbles down in there. Now what I am going to do is I'm going to make sure, when you do this, make sure you put some foil. Uh, the guy that came to fix my stove the other day, when I had foil everywhere, he said, ma'am, you're going to mess your heating elements up. Well, he says, okay to put it on the racks, but not on the bottom part, because that's where part of your heating elements are. So, this is my ultimate um, quiche. It was a lot of ingredients, but not a whole lot of work. There's not really that much work to it. It's just a matter of chopping veggies and getting them uh, measured and all like that. Y'all, let me can I wipe this off so I won't be distracted? Thank y'all so much. Okay. Yeah. Still need a wet wipe clean, but anyway. Just want to let y'all see. That's pretty enough to eat just like it is, guys. Really it is. Okay, so now, this oven is already set to 350. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put them on the middle rack. Because you know why? I want the bottom crust. I really want my bottom crust to uh, brown. Sometimes these pre-made pie shell crust, and it's probably something that I'm doing, uh, they don't brown all the way. Five minutes, you know they're done. So, anywho, these are getting ready to go into my oven. It's 121 right now. Let me get some foil. Let me get me a piece of foil. And I'm going to put a foil on the rack under them because I don't want it to uh, get out into the stove. I already need to clean my stove, but not today. If it spills over a little bit, it'll that uh, foil will catch it. So I always when you do it, it's just a good idea to do that. You can't put it on that very bottom part like I was doing. Uh, the repairman said, "No, ma'am, sorry, Kyle, it's just not gonna do the oven very well." Yeah. Okay, so this is ready to go into the oven. I'm gonna put it in there for about about 45 minutes and see what happens. Okay, goes one and a six. So that's going to be dinner for Kareem and I today. So hold on, and I'll be back in 45 minutes. Okay, time to get us some veggies going in the side dish. We're going to stir fry broccoli, carrots, onions, and asparagus. This is just a little side dish to go along with that beautiful cheese. Mm. Yummy, y'all. This is going to be a great dinner. I just heard the oven sound off. That means that my, um, there is that butter, my leftover butter in there. Okay, I just heard the oven go off, so that means that my peach is ready to come out. I missed that pepper, I don't know how I missed it, chopping that one up. Anywho, y'all, I'm just excited about this meal as I am about how I'm feeling today. My usual season, onion, garlic. Excuse my reach, y'all. I'm on the other side. Okay, keep that heat up high because I want it to, uh, so the spinach in there, add to the flavor, saving enough spinach for a salad for tomorrow. Okay, I want to add me a little sesame oil to that pan, and that will be enough oil because I'm cooking it in butter. I got to cook about a half a stick of butter. Now I'm going to add some uh, sesame oil. And that will be a gracious plenty of oil in the pan. And my dinner will be ready, y'all. It's a fairly quick meal. I think I'm going to add a little taste of black pepper in there. 
And let's find my complete seasoning to go in there. Let's find, there it is, my sesame oil. About a good teaspoon of sesame oil. I just love that nutty flavor of sesame oil. It just does something as far as I'm concerned to a dish. Now I add some of my Miss Dash lemon flavor and I add some, <coughs> excuse me, some regular lemon pepper seasoning. I just love all these seasonings in my food, as you can see. Okay. Yummy, y'all. Don't you just feel, looking at this, knowing you're going to eat it, don't you feel your body just feeling real good about it? Before you give me any mouth, please right, keep that heat up high to me and turn it down. Found my turmeric. About a teaspoon of turmeric. Okay. What am I missing? Am I missing anything? Did I leave anything in the kitchen cabinet? Um, you know what? I, I, I don't know. I think I might have thrown it out or. Something I don't know. My green sauce. I need to make some more green sauce. Yeah. I was gonna put these in the oven, but I still have my quiche in, so let's go ahead and get the quiche out. I believe it's red day. Oh yeah, those look good in there. Forty-five minutes. Oven off. That goes just absolutely beautiful. Okay. This can't be good food. That cheese has got a little crust on it, and we're gonna have a wonderful time eating. It's a little bit early right now for dinner. It's just like 2 o'clock. So I probably won't eat dinner. I might eat an early dinner today since I got real smart and went ahead and cooked my dinner early. I just might eat early today. Put a little bit of sweet seasoning. I need a little bit of salt content on there. So I'm going to add some complete seasoning, about a teaspoon of complete seasoning on there. A little bit of, uh, about another teaspoon of lemon pepper seasoning. Let me turn my cheese down. Okay, I'm looking at this. Well, it's a new series for me. Y'all probably have already seen it. It's called The Equalizer with Queen Latifah. I'm loving it. I like Queen Latifah. I really like her. She's my girl. She's my girl. I like stuff like that. And you know what? I will binge watch stuff that I like. And I like that. So I've already binge watched all five episodes. I'm on the last episode. So I'll turn it off for now. Okay, y'all. Everything is ready. The quiche is out of the oven. Look, it's not even dinner time. And I'm really not hungry. But it's looking and smelling so good. Uh... I feel like I need to eat. Now, I might have to taste a little bit. But anyway, those beautiful, um, sensational, wonderful stuff, ultimate quiche. And, of course, my vegetable medley on the back back there to eat along with that quiche. So, guys, thank you all so much for stopping by, uh, for listening to me, for praying with me, because I could feel you praying. Again, uh, June, thank you so much for my um, beautiful knife set. And I'm going to get back over here. I'm going to show the knife set. Let's let's get it going. Let's see. Isn't that beautiful, y'all? A beautiful knife set. And of course, I used this one today to chop the veggies. Worked fine, but I think I'm gonna have to get me another kind of a chopping. I'm heavy-handed, and I'm scared. I'm gonna just plop one of those knives down on that uh, glass. As much as I paid for it, but it makes so much noise. But I don't want it to. I don't want to break it and cut my hand or pop it and somebody else get cut by it so thanks again for my knife set june god bless you a thousand fold back at you so again i'm always appreciative for whatever someone does for me um just wanted to come back and say 
how very much I love you all. I appreciate you all. Well, I didn't do a lot of talking on Sunday dinner. I actually didn't feel like it. I guess this this great overwhelming feeling of exuberance was on its way. So it's here now. I'm relishing in. I'm not going to overdo it. As a matter of fact, I sat down between making uh, the meal, the, uh, the different dishes here today. So I'm going to take it one step at a time. But I, when I tell y'all, I feel good to God be all the glory. And just thank you, thank you, thank you for every well wish, every gift, every act of kindness, every word of encouragement. Just thank y'all. Please continue to pray without ceasing. Um, keep those prayers going up so the blessings will continue to come down. And please, whatever you do, if you have unresolved issues with your family members, friends, distant relatives, whomever, people in life in general, please go ahead and get those taken care of as soon as possible because you never know when it's going to come a time that you're going to want to do those things and not be able to do it. Um, so guys, with that, I'm getting ready to get out of here. I'm going to sit back and relax for a few minutes and I'm not going to eat dinner until later. I might taste of my food, but I'm not going to have dinner until later on today. So again, thank you all so very, very much. Um, I'm telling you, it, it just makes all the, I think Mary, your card said it best. Let me just read it. What makes you different is what makes you special. Nobody can do what you do exactly the way you can do it. So I thank you for that sentiment. And there are people in our lives. And if you don't have someone in that, like that in your life, work on getting someone. Or if, or if you had somebody special in your life and something went the wrong way, try to fix that thing. Because it means a lot to have people to be able to say to you that they appreciate you, that they love you. And I love each one of you. So if nobody else told you today or nobody's going to tell you tomorrow or if nobody else told you in the past, I'm telling you, I love you because you're special. You know why you're special? Because God made you in his image just like he did me. And you hear me say all the time, or not all the time, but you've heard me say many times that I love myself enough to be kind to myself so it makes it easier for me to be kind to others. I see the God in me always sees the God in you, and we've all got some God in us. So try to make some relationships uh, like that or go back and retrieve some. And again, like I said earlier, if people don't reciprocate, then at least you know that you've done what you needed to do because God says we have to forgive one another, and he wants us to love one another as he loves us. So with that being said, I'm going to say, uh, keep those prayers going up so the blessings will continue to come down. Please, 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 pretty please pray without ceasing. Resolve those unresolved issues. Do something kind for someone. Give somebody a call. Uh, see how they're doing today because, you know, we still got all these different things, especially if you got somebody was that was in the way of that weather the other day. So love you guys until I decide to cook something again. Toodaloo.